After 15 months of hard work, my dad and I are finally able to launch our dream mini bike business. Because this Saturday is our VIP pre-sale. Oh, here we go. We are pulling up to Tom's shop right now, and that's because we are picking up the official final MBK1 prototype. Last week, a couple things happened, so we had to make some modifications. So we're gonna go into the shop right now and see the final bike that we'll be using to do the VIP pre-sale. So if you haven't yet, register below, but yeah, let's go check it out. I'm freaking excited. Oh my gosh. It might not look that different, but it's all in the details. I'm so excited to get this home, assembled, and finally be able to take it for a proper test ride. That was until Tom said. The, uh, I guess the issue that you're gonna have there is without a jack shaft, are you gonna throw a chain again? Oh, have you not made the aluminum stuff yet? No, not yet. Oh, this was an unexpected surprise. One that could delay the pre-sale. But Tom reassured me that he would get all of the aluminum parts done in time. So we got the updated frame. As you can probably tell, there's a couple modifications that we made to it. Flat bar here. We made it go inward because we wanted the seat to actually be smaller. On the first test ride, my dad and I both agreed that it was a little bit uncomfortable because it was just too wide. It would probably be fine once we had the seat on there, but ultimately we feel it was best to do this. Also aesthetically, we really like that look. Unfortunately, I thought we'd have all of the aluminum parts done by now, but we don't. It's literally Monday and we have to have the spike done, painted, anodized, and chromed for the launch this Saturday. If you can hear my heart, it's pumping. I have good faith that we'll still be able to get everything ready for the launch because there's no turning it back. That's it, the date is not changing, this is what it is, so hopefully, fingers crossed, we can actually get it done. So as Tom gets going on the aluminum parts, I need to get the frame home so I can prep it for paint. I gotta do a mental checklist. We have the frame, we have the swing arm, we have the shock, the brake, caliper, and lever. Two sets of handlebars, big and small. We got the front wheel, we got the rear wheel. I, I gotta go remind him about one more bracket we need. You know, a lot of people are saying, why does it take so long? Why does it take so long? Well, like, we're probably well over 130 hours put into this, which again, might be like, why does it take so much to build? There's just so many things that need to be changed or altered, and one little change could mean a whole day worth of new work. It's really coming down to the wire because I need to present on Saturday, and it is, it's only Monday, yes, but Friday's gonna get here before we know it, and if I don't have a complete bike by Friday, like. That's a, that's a big issue, so hopefully it all works out. It's not fun when you don't have to struggle. <laughs> now that I got it home, it's time to show Dad. So this is the new one. Mm-hmm. Oh. He put flat. Yeah, okay. Well, he realized, so he had stuff like this, but he's like, if the seat pan's on there, yeah, yeah. technically you only have that much contact times four. Okay. Whereas now the seat pan will sit flat across this the entire time. So that was a great decision on his part. Okay, good. When we first got our 670, all we had to test it in was our 3D printed prototype. So now that we have prototype number two, we want to put it back in just to make sure that it actually fits. It should. I don't see why it wouldn't, but we just want to double check. So let's do that real quick. Okay. That fits perfect. Perfect. We can leave this on like this, I bet. And the holes line up. Let's see, yeah. you have, where are those bolts you just bought? Yeah, we're gonna be in heaven here. Okay, bolts are in. And I think, how far are we? Do we still got room to move? We should. Oh yeah. Oh, plenty of room, holy yeah. crap. Okay, now that we know that that works, we gotta get this prepped for paint because it's already 3 p.m. And um, well, I don't know what you're waiting for. I'm waiting for you. For me, what do you want well, to do? Well, you wanted to test this? Yeah, this is perfect, this is good. Okay. Let's get it out. Okay. Can you do me a favor with the air grinder and just grind like this a little bit, make this as nice as you humanly can? Mm-hmm, that's gonna be hard. I know, but just try your <laughs> best to do that. So this is the weld, right? This is what it looks like after Tom welds it. And then using that grinder he gave me, this is what, how clean it could look. Obviously it's not perfect, there's still a little bit there, but the seat will be here, so you won't see the inside, but from the outside, I think that looks amazing. 
Like, that's a great tool. Hot. Oh, don't touch it. Now that the frame is 100% prepped for paint, we're heading to the shop now, and he said that it should be done by Wednesday. We're gonna get three coats of paint, two coats of clear, so it should come out really, really nice. It should take about, it says 20 minutes, so we should be there soon, and then we'll go over the details, the color. Oh, I can't wait to see it. It's gonna be beautiful. For some reason, the audio didn't record, but Marvin said he absolutely loves the bike and can't wait to start painting it. Then he asked about our YouTube channel so that he can subscribe. If you're not subscribed yet, be like Marvin and hit that subscribe button right now. Then I let him be and headed home, hoping that he can actually deliver on time. So one of the things that I wanted to do was make sure I could find like local people who I can work with on building the MBK1. And so I found this really awesome seat maker who builds them out of his garage. And so he told me that the seats are done and we can go pick them up right now. So we're on our way, which is awesome because we're four days away from the pre-sale. And this was something I was a little nervous about because literally last minute we reduced the size of the seat. So hopefully the seats are as amazing as I envision. And um, yeah, I'm quite excited to see what they look like. Oh, I, I like the stitching. Basically, your mini bike one embroidery, like you said. Yeah. Uh, your logo straight in the back, same as last seat. Cool. Um, we covered the bottom side like you wanted. I do really like this. And then I am gonna offer, like I mentioned before, people the opportunity if they do the whole custom order. Um, I really, I, so this is not leather or this, I forget what this is. This is vinyl, okay. Yeah, so this is a roll here. That's right, okay. Um, so you can feel it's a pretty thick yeah, no. vinyls. Uh, it's got a lot of stretch, which is really nice because it's harder to puncture the more stretchy it is. Yeah, exactly. And um, this is a marine material, so it's meant to be outside for, you know, all summer without fading or getting brittle. Okay. No, this is great. So I'm going to get these back. We should get the bike from paint, hopefully Thursday. Get to put it on for the first time. And uh, yeah, and we sell them on Saturday, so. Hello. Hey, Dad. Hey. I got some good news. What's that? I just picked up the seats. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they look really good and they feel very comfortable. Oh, okay, good stuff. Like, he used, I don't know what kind of foam he used, but I'm pretty sure he used something, like, it's, it, it does not feel like your traditional mini bike seat. It's, like, really comfortable. Really, eh? Yeah, so that's exciting. Now that I got the seats, I need to get home and continue working on the presentation. I am proud of what we've created with the MBK1. So this brings us to probably the number one question that we get asked on a daily basis. So you might be wondering why I'm working on the presentation and how you can already hear me when it hasn't happened yet. Well, I actually pre-recorded my audio so that I can create all of the amazing slides and animations that you're gonna see. And so I'm just going through and making sure that they will all time up properly. It's actually kind of crazy because this presentation is much longer than any YouTube video that I made. And so there's a lot of work going into this presentation to make sure that you guys enjoy it. And there's lots of really cool stuff happening. So anyways, I'm gonna keep going back at it. I've revised this presentation over 18 times because I knew that it would be a reflection of our commitment to building something truly great. So I spent the next two full days working on it to make sure it was perfect. Okay, so I just got a photo from the guy who painted the bike. And this thing looks amazing. It's called Rosso Megma Red, and it's actually from Ferrari. And I absolutely love it. My favorite color is red. So hopefully I can go grab it now. But if not, then I might have to wait till 5 p.m., which is not good because I want to start putting things together. Okay, sweet. It's kind of hard getting in here yeah. without... Oh, like overspraying? Over yeah. Nice, okay. I made it work. <laughs> it's not, it's still wet though, right? It's, no, no, no. okay, okay, cool. Yeah, but this looks great. I mean, I'm gonna see it in the sun. Okay, cool, cool, okay. While I was picking up the frame, my dad ran to Tom's to grab the last batch of parts. Now that we have everything we need, we can finally assemble the bike. What will it look like?
seats way better. With the bike ready and my presentation done, there was only one thing left to do. We needed to set up the basement so that we can record the pre-sale. And even though I've rehearsed for the past two months, I was still a bit nervous. Oh, here we go. See, Mantini Motors begin. Two people who dare to dream. This accommodates a broad range of engine sizes, up to an impressive 670 cc. Oh, I said that. That I hit a high note on that one. <laughs> Michael Jackson in the building. It took a few rehearsals, but I finally got it. It has been quite the exciting journey, and yet it is just the beginning. So thank you again for joining us today, and we can't wait to see how you make the MBK1 your own. Take care. Woo! Holy crap, we did it. Although I was excited, there was still one thing left to do. Okay, so it's like 10 p.m. Just recorded the whole presentation and now we have to actually edit it before tomorrow at 1 p.m. So it's gonna be a crazy long night. Hit the like button to wish us luck and hopefully we can get this done on time. We had 12 hours to finish the edit and although that might seem like enough, the morning was here before we knew it and we were running out of time. We only have a few hours left. I gotta hit export on this. I gotta get it uploaded. I gotta create a thumbnail. I gotta send an email. Oh my gosh. There's so much left to do, but we've done everything we can. We can't go backwards. And so this is it. This is the presentation. It's gonna go live. And hopefully people like it. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna export now. I still feel like there's like a thousand things I need to do. I probably, probably is. Um, should have probably gave myself an extra two weeks, but here's the thing. I would have given myself two weeks and then I still would have, something would have happened to cause it get to be even further delayed. So it's just one of those, you got to launch imperfectly. That's how you make progress. So I'm going to try to put it up on the TV so my mom could watch and my dad could watch there. All right, mark my words in three years from now, you're going to look back at this basement and be like, that's where this company came from for over a year. My dad and I have been working towards this moment. At first, we didn't know what direction we were headed. We were solely driven by our passion to do something different. And eventually, the idea to build our own frame was born. That sent us down a new path, one that was unknown to both of us. Whether it was destiny or determination, it led us to developing the MBK1 something that embodies passion beyond limits and redefines what a mini bike could be. Today, all of that hard work, the late nights and early mornings will hopefully mean something. And I finally get to show my dad that we have what it takes to do something truly great. Welcome VIPs. My name is Sam Mantini and I'm excited to introduce you to a truly special place. The basement where Mantini Motors was born. We've got 68 viewers so far. And where my dad and I had a vision to revolutionize the world of mini bikes. Our mission was simple. Design a premium mini bike that embodies passion beyond limits and make it accessible to all. So with that being said, what should we price the MBK1 at? We're not gonna ask for $27.99 and in fact, we're not even gonna ask for $19.99. For the full suspension MBK1, we're gonna price it at $12.99. The presentation was going perfect. Everyone seemed to love the price and all the bonuses we were giving away. I was confident that absolutely nothing could go wrong at this point, but that all changed when I look back at the live chat and no one was able to place an order. We were having some issues with people actually being able to make payments, uh, so I'm hopefully trying to figure that out right now. No way. We have 16 page views, but we have 10 people opted in, meaning 10 people put in their information to buy, which is awesome, but like, it's not working. So let me just do... Okay. So I'll just 
Stay, I'll leave you alone then. Stay tuned. After an entire day of struggling, it turns out I'll have to wait until Monday to get a hold of the payment processing platform. So I did the only thing I knew I could. Hey, I know that this is probably not the page you were expecting to land on, but I wanted to address some of the current issues we are facing with our VIP presale. All right, although the last two weeks have been utterly insane, we finally have some good news. Turns out we figured out what was wrong with the payment processing system, so that's good. And now the website is ready for you to finally order your MBK1. So here's what you need to know. Tomorrow, Friday, May 3rd at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're gonna go ahead and unpause the VIP presale, which means all you need to do is go to mantini.co forward slash order and you can finally grab your MBK1. Now, please note, if you were trying to order during the live stream, don't worry, we have your contact information and we know what time you tried to order, which means if you were in the top 10 or 25, you will receive your bonus once you go ahead and place your order. Don't worry, you did not lose your spot in line. So with that being said, finally, we can officially say that Mantini Motors will be launching tomorrow at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So with that being said, Hopefully you guys go ahead and place your order. We really look forward to seeing what you guys do with the MBK1 and I can't wait to finally take a nap. All right, we'll see you in the next video.